after looking at the video of the game last night, what stood out today? We did some good some good things last night. I was I was really pleased with the pace we were playing at. We had a couple of possessions, uh, even after made baskets, where uh, we got it out quick, a couple pass ahead, and we were attacking uh, the rim on the other side within a, a few seconds. So um, there were some positives. Uh, the negatives were our defense. We we were sloppy with our switching. Um, fouled way too much, and uh, you know Denver runs some good stuff, so uh, it was it was good practice for us. But we got to get uh, we got to get much better with with that stuff defensively. But we know that, and that's why we keep working. Uh, you know, making that a priority, and we spend a lot of time with it. How quickly can that turn around? So many new pieces, obviously a, a lot of young players too. Well, it takes all season, right? There's there's layers of d turning yourselves into a really good defensive team. The thing that starts with is effort, and I think we get the effort. So that's the most important, the most important part. And then from there, it turns to communication, understanding the schemes, and then the schemes get more complex as you know you continue to get better at it. So it'll be something that all all season long we're focused on and working on and making adjustments to. Was Ingram as impressive a day later? Looking at the video. He was. He was really good. Uh, he had a couple possessions offensively where, um, you know, we didn't get the ball movement we wanted. They were switching us, and he just pulled up for mid-range jump shots. Um, besides that, he was active defensively. Uh, he was running the lane. He was cutting without the ball, um, playing with confidence, talking. Uh, so uh, still pleased post-video session with Brandon. It is, what's Lonzo's status for him? He's not going to play them all. So what's the difference? He's like he's, he's out there, you're playing at full speed. Obviously, what's the difference between doing that and, and needing to get into a preseason? Just doing more of that, getting comfortable with it. I mean, that's four on four. It's a controlled environment. It's uh, it's his body going through those reps more and more. I mean, there, you can do that all day long. There's nothing like playing in those NBA games. Um, as far as you know, how hard you have to compete and cutting and the way you get hit with screens. So. Uh, just because, again, he's been out so long, we're just trying to be patient with it. Beasley's okay after the last surge? Uh, yeah, he was good. Uh, he did an MRI, he got cleared, practiced full today. Did he get any uh, I was not told that. I, I just was informed that the MRI was fine and he was cleared to practice today. Um, so he was, he was in. Did you hear him when he came off the court saying he couldn't see? Yeah. Was that a little scary? Um, I'm sure for, for him, it was for very scary. <laughs> you're I, fine. I can see fine. Uh, but he, uh, yeah, I did hear that. But they, uh, they cleared. He went, you know, he went to an eye doctor too. Did the MRI. Everything checked out. And, and he can see. He can see. Okay. okay. <laughs> Made a nice corner three. Um, you've been trying to get these young guys that you had for a few years to talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's but it takes time. It's it's it, you know, it, it's an uncomfortable thing for a lot of people for whatever reason. Everyone feels comfortable talking around the house with their friends and in the locker room, but you get out in front of other people and uh, if for whatever reason it's it's, it's challenging. Um, so where I see the difference starting to happen is is the alertness where they're you know they're going up to each other and talking now, and you know we need that to turn into being loud and just talking it all out, uh, you know, to the whole, to the whole group, to the team, uh, you know, still being willing to call out teammates if someone made a selfish play uh, without getting your feelings hurt, those type of things. So uh, I can see the awareness uh, starting to change, but uh, the talking still needs to get a lot better. How do you think that uh, Kuz did at the five last night? Um, he was all right at the on offense. Defensively, he was giving the effort, which again is the number one thing. Um, but our cut, you know, he he switched off of Jokic one time on that fake handoff, uh, where the cutter was coming off. Um, Jokic turned and laid it up. So uh, there was a few fundamental breakdowns of how we want to play the defense from that spot. But his effort was there, and we're gonna he wants the challenge again, and we're gonna give it to him again. Obviously, B has only got six minutes, but you getting an idea of how he looked in that spot? Yeah, it was a short, uh, you know, sample size, but he, uh, you know, we watched the film today with the group, and you know, it's 
a lot of it goes back to communicating, you know, and, and the mess ups we did have, you could see the two, two defenders, uh, sometimes bees, sometimes other people, but they were, they were hesitating. And every time they hesitated, Denver pulled up and hit a three. So you got to call it out early and be, be ready to be committed to whatever that call is. Will LeBron play tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, we're going to get him out there again tomorrow. Luke, last night's game seemed to have a different, very different atmosphere to a lot of preseason games. Obviously, for a lot of people, it was their first chance to see LeBron as a Laker. Does that energy sort of translate to the players, or is it really just a, a fan thing? No, the players, I mean, that's, you know, it's, the players feel it, for sure. Um, you know, I've played in preseason games where there's 300 people in the arena, and it's, it's tough to get going sometimes. <laughs> but when it's sold out and the fans are going nuts, uh, you know, players love that. So it was, uh, it was a, bit, it was an awesome environment for being a preseason, uh, for being a preseason game. Yesterday you got Bi out to like bring him back with the second unit, obviously um, because he didn't have Lonzo, so you're not gonna have Lonzo so again tomorrow. Is that something that you're doing just to like try different things, or is that something that you want to keep for the rotation long term, even when Lonzo so comes back? In both. We want to. One, we want to continue to develop Brandon's playmaking ability. Uh, two, we want to, sh you know, show that. It doesn't matter who's bringing the ball up. Brandon being a small forward, if he gets the rebound, we're now we're manipulating it, so we're making him the point yep. guard. So most of the time he's bringing it up. But we also want to have you know the guys see like if that's Brandon off of a rebound or Lance off of a rebound, we're still getting into our same stuff. Um, so it's a little bit bit of both of those. It's uh, obviously early, but just to go back to the five spot with the and trying different stuff out. How do you feel about that personnel group? Uh, for the season, like, what do you think might be good for you guys, and what uh, what maybe might be? A well, that, yeah, I mean that's everything we're trying to figure out. Yeah. Yeah, so it's you know, I, I think offensively, uh, would be great for us if if Kuz and you know could handle that, and uh, we can get out and fly and run and space the floor. Um, but you know, that's something we don't know yet. Uh, you know, same with Beasley, uh, Zoo. What's that look like? Um, with, with that second unit. So there's just a lot of unknowns that, you know, within a week of practice, we, we, don't, we don't have the answer to yet. How's he been doing? He's been good. Um, you know, he's, uh, you know he, he's in doing his work. He's doing what we ask of him. Um, we still need him to be, you know, we tell him we need him to be more aggressive. We want him, you know, we want him being physical, finding work and just going after it. Uh, and he knows that we're, we're with him on the film every day, uh, but he, he continues to get better. Did Travail surprise you? Uh, no. He was he was good though, uh, good in real life and on the tape. So uh, I thought he did a, I thought he did a really nice job of uh, of attacking the rim for us. That, that that constant pressure that we're looking for with the rollers and. Uh, you know, looking to get tip outs on, on offensive rebounds, things like that. And defensively, I thought he did a good job uh, when we did ask him to switch and, and keeping guys in front and a couple, uh, he changed a couple shots. You know, Murray hit a tough one left hand where he threw it 12 feet in the air, but that's, that's what we're looking for out of JaVale. So I thought he did his job very well last night. Do you have an idea of like minutes load for him? For what, tomorrow? For tomorrow night or no, for no, just in general? In general? For the season, yeah. No, it'll be it'll change game to game. I mean, we're we're gonna play fast, so we're gonna get guys in and out. Uh, you know, we want to use our depth to our advantage, and and you know, come at ways. So it'll it'll be it'll be different for most players uh, from one night to the next. Do you, Do you, weekend, how are you feeling about the chemistry out there between this cast and the guy? How, the chemistry. chemistry. I love our chemistry. I think it's great. Uh, you know, there's a nice combination of, of vets and young guys, and the young guys are asking questions. The vets like teaching, uh, and you know, they like they like competing. So it's it's been a good mix so far. Do you want to go like 11 or 12 deep in your rotation? Like we could, we would, yeah. I mean, we're not gonna we're trying not to play 11 or 12 in the same game. Obviously, there'll be games we do because we're searching for something that we don't have <laughs> for whatever reason, and there'll be. You know, in the NBA season, there'll be injuries, and we'll feel confident when things like that happen that players that might not have been in the rotation will be able to help us uh, play and compete and win ball games. Do you plan on playing LeBron at the five at all this preseason? I mean, it's not. We call it the five because you need to label spots. But I mean, if you look in the game last night, 
if, if Kuzma's our five and LeBron's our four, but we're switching everything one through five, occasionally he's guarding the five. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we're, we're not, we don't really call it that other than trying to just let guys have a, a label as far as where they're supposed to be on the court and, and things of that. But there's times he'll be guarding centers, there's times he'll be guarding point guards and every other position out there as well. With finding, Last question. Line, with finding lineups, what's the feedback process with the players and you in terms of what feels right, what doesn't feel natural out there on the court for them in terms of trying new positions? Well, we're, you know, it's the there's not much feedback as a, as much as it's listen, whatever whatever we're asking you to do just go out there and play basketball compete you know play the right way play with your teammates and let us do the evaluating and, and we'll figure out what what works um, you know so far uh, now if they revolt and they start telling us they hey, they don't like it then we'll, we'll have those type of conversations but it's you know they're they're all basketball players and, and they want to be on the court and you get an opportunity to be on the court uh, you try to take advantage of it.